getting pretty hot out here. Might be time for a little fan beam CT discussion. Today we're talking about third generation CT, AKA fan beam CT. I'm Brian Nett from howardiologyworks.com. Click subscribe below so you can get more info on radiology, especially if you're a technologist. So again, short video today just on fan beam CT, the geometry of fan beam CT, our source and our detector are opposed from one another, and why fan beam CT won out in the battle amongst all the generations, different types of options from parallel beam to then fourth generation, fifth generation, which were very different geometries. Why did third generation win out? And then wait till the end and click on that little video at the end to learn more about from fan beam to cone beam CT based on that third generation geometry. New content. In third generation CT, this is really where CT became very clinically useful. And this is a high level schematic of third generation CT. And in comparison with the first two generations of CT, in those two generations, there was a translation that was needed. So every view angle, every time we wanted to acquire a view, we'd have to translate the X-ray source and detector, and then rotate the whole gantry, translate, and then rotate the whole gantry. So this is what's really nice about the third gen CT. There's no translation necessary anymore. Now it's just rotation. So rotation of both the X-ray source and the X-ray detector. And third generation CT, is what really survived in terms of modern CT. We'll talk about fourth and fifth generation CT architectures, but those haven't really survived. So the modern CT is really X-ray source and X-ray detectors mounted across from one another, and they're acquired in either a fan beam or a cone beam geometry, and then with or without table motion. We'll talk about that in other lectures, but as far as the high level, third generation CT is the one that really survived and uh, won the race as far as those generations. Some people also have given names to subsequent scanning geometries, like when the table moves, give that another generation name. But um, in my opinion, this third generation CT is really the one that is the base of all of modern CT scanning. Again, thank you. I'm Brian Nett with HowRadiologyWorks.com.